At the age of just 17 years old, Max Verstappen became the youngest ever athlete to compete as a Formula One driver at the Australian Grand Prix in 2015. In fact, Max competed for about a year in Formula One before he ever obtained his actual run-of-the-mill driver's license. Since then, he has now taken home the Formula One World Championship twice while driving for Red Bull Racing. Throughout his still relatively short career, Max has amassed a small fortune worth roughly $40 million, making him the second best paid driver in the sport behind Lewis Hamilton, according to Forbes magazine. When this young dynamo isn't crisscrossing his way all over the world as fast as he possibly can, you'll find him slowing down just enough to enjoy his life at home, located in Fontvieille, Monaco, a gorgeous spot that overlooks a plentiful number of super yachts, Harbored in Cap Dai. The day after he turned 18 years old, Max Verstappen moved out of his parents' place and into an apartment that's the ideal type of bachelor pad millions of males his own age fantasize about owning. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Something that Max himself hinted at when he was asked why he chose Monaco as his home away from Home. Telling the Gentleman's Journal, one of the best things about living in Monaco is the quality of life. I think where you choose to live is really important when you're away a lot. Of course, Max Verstappen is far from the only F1 star who's chosen to live in this glittering and pristine city state. Other stars like Lewis Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, and Lando Norris have also put down roots here. Probably because Monaco is well known all around the world for two things its luxurious surroundings, and its ability to function as a tax-free haven for residents. Over the years, whenever he's been asked, Max has insisted that he did not select his home because of the implicit tax benefits. And while you might not believe that, one thing that's kinda working in Max's favor is that he doesn't actually own his home. When Max Verstappen moved to Monaco, he didn't put any money down on his apartment that's rumored to be worth as much as $16 million. Instead, he decided to rent it. To me, that suggests that Max doesn't plan on spending the rest of his life living out of Monaco. He's probably just looking to capitalize on the wild social life it has to offer, especially considering how young he still is. And is it any surprise that after a night out on the town, Max has occasionally had to stumble home a little worse for wear? That video also provided us with just about the best glimpse we've ever had of inside Max's place, showing off an apartment that's simple, but but spacious and includes white walls as well as wooden floors. While Max has been hesitant to reveal other parts of his apartment online, a few glimpses of the inside have occasionally slipped through the cracks, such as this look into his chic lounge area. This room boasts a cowhide rug underneath a modern black coffee table and some unique animal artwork hanging on the walls. Once while packing for a business trip, Max also gave us a peek into his stylish bedroom that comes complete with a padded headboard with geometric detailing and matching black bed linen. One of the things Max spends the most amount of time at home doing is keeping himself in peak physical condition. He does so with a home gym that takes full advantage of Monaco's typical 300 days a year of sunshine with most of his equipment having been set up on a lengthy stretch of balcony that overlooks the Mediterranean Sea. Known as Max's happy place, this gym boasts necessary equipment like kettlebell weights, an exercise bike, and a frame for bungee poles that ensures an intense cardiovascular endurance, strength, and high intensity workouts. According to Max's performance coach, Bradley Skeins, Max trains six times a week with two sessions a day for seven to eight weeks at a time. And going by some of the workout regimens that he's posted online, I don't doubt that he is always pushing himself to the limits. One of the more unusual workout devices Max owns is a piece of equipment that's specifically built to build up the muscles in his neck so that he can endure a maximum speed of six Gs while taking a tight turn during a race. 
Paying attention to details like neck extension along with lateral flexion is what helps set Max apart from the other athletes in his sport. And another thing that he takes more seriously than almost anyone else is his virtual training. Whenever Max returns home to Monaco, he loves to hop into his sim racer, which he generally doesn't let anyone else go near. This high-end simulation racing arcade machine set Max back thousands of dollars, especially considering that he had his custom made with a play seat ultimate f1 cockpit worth $2,800, an LM Pro steering wheel that retails for $1,800, a set of ultimate pedals that cost roughly $1,100, and a sim steering system that could cost as much as four grand. When he isn't on the road, Max hops into this simulator every day and races as a member of his sim racing organization, Team Redline. In between racing online and in real life, he'll occasionally ease up up on the throttle by taking to the water instead of the land. With that gorgeous Monaco Harbor sitting just outside his home, is it any surprise to learn that Max has been recorded riding a number of jet skis in and around the coast? In point of fact, relaxing on the open water is one of Max's favorite pastimes. And he once told the Gentleman's Journal, Sometimes you just take the boat and park it up somewhere in a little bay, or you take the jet skis out, explore the coast, and have a bit of fun. Doing that in Monaco sounds so enjoyable, it should probably be illegal. Speaking of fun, with as popular a driver as Max has become an F1 over these past few years and the intrigue that comes with living in a spot as wealthy as Monaco, the folks who sponsor Max over at Red Bull decided to capitalize on all that interest by creating an interactive game that allows Max's fans to take a tour of a cartoonish version of his home base. Sure, by no means it represents what Max's apartment actually looks like, but for those of you interested in his story, playing through the game will provide you with a bit more backstory on his come up and how he enjoys living in Monaco. All right, before we finish, let's take a look at one last place, Max's home away from home in the sky. This next location might not be somewhere that Max actually lives, but considering how often he has to cross the globe to get from one race to the next, he sure does spend a lot of time in inside of his very own private jet. With 23 Grand Prix races being held across five continents between March and November of 2022 alone, you can imagine that this Dassault Falcon 900EX that Max bought in 2020 has already been a good investment. According to internet reports, this giant jet used to belong to none other than Richard Branson, who sold it to Max for estimated $15 million, boasting Honeywell engines and a maximum distance of almost 9,000 kilometers on one take of gas. The plane can also reach top speeds of up to 892 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, the interior of the cabin includes an all glass flight deck, a wet bar, 12 seats that can be reclined to form beds, and a shower too. Best of all, whenever a teammate like Daniel Rochardo needs a ride back to Monaco, Max is too happy to oblige. And sure, neither his personal jet nor his penthouse suite appears to be all that large, but Max Verstappen is still young and has all the time in the world to sow his wild oats. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching, and before you head out, consider answering the following question. If you were ever to move to Monaco, what would its biggest selling point be? Let me know if you're more about those open waters and the scenery or those tax-free savings in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat. And if you enjoyed watching this tour of F1 driver Max Verstappen's home, then stay tuned as we check out the homes of his rival, Lewis Hamilton. I'll see you all next time. Bye.